Yo, so we're finally back with the quickest video I can currently make at the time. Well, that sucked. But anyways, I'm spinning Zhu J Zhu Gay Liang to 100. As you can see, I've been hoarding gems for a long time, and when I saw that an archer commander with a lot of AoE also had 30% health, among other things, I just knew I had to get him for the open field. So let's get right into it. So I'm mostly just hoping for two heads per spin, which is wishful thinking. As for everything else, I'm fine with speedups and resources. The only thing I don't want is research speedups, gold stars, and stone. I'll even take building speedups because you can eventually convert those to training speedups, and then I don't want to tap into my universal speedups for when I have to upgrade the crystal mine or the crystal research building. On the first spin, I got one head, which is whatever, but on this one, I did get three, so it does even out, although I did get a lot of stone. I did see some reports on this guy, and they were pretty good from what I saw. Dang, I got my cheeks clapped right here. I seriously hope this isn't going to be a bad set of 100 spins. But there's one, and then two, and now three. Okay, well that was cool. I needed all of that. I did hear some YouTubers say that Boudicca with Zuj can beat a Nevsky and a Joan, but I don't know, to me it does sound a little bit unrealistic. And then here, I only got one sculpture out of this spin, which is kinda lame. It doesn't seem to be going well for me right now. I'm gonna slowly work on Zuj. I don't know who to pair him with right now, but I have gotten a total of 180 sculptures of Henry before, so my best shot at the moment would be Henry or YSG. But I think he's just gonna die if I pair him with YSG. On this last spin, I only got two heads out of it and two stars, which the stars suck, but at least I got two heads out of it. And then here, I only got one head. And after this, we have 20 spins left. And again, we only got one sculpture out of it. I guess it just wasn't meant to be this time around. I have been in KVK Heroic Anthem, and we lost our first fighting zone, but our allies have won on their side, so that's a good thing. And my camp has also lost both Altar of Darkness fights, and I also got rallied and made a lot of mistakes. Yeah, a lot of extremely dumb decisions were made, and I thought I was recording it too, but I guess I wasn't. I seriously thought I was, so I could show you guys how that went and what happened. I ended up losing around a million troops and received 100 days worth of speedups, a lot of resources. And yeah, it would have been a nice video, but I apologize, I wasn't recording. I don't know if y'all noticed, but my luck on sculptures is finally starting to turn around, and I now open the extra rewards, which comes out to 20 sculptures total, not including what I got from the wheel. Okay, so here we are on day 2 of spinning the wheel to 100, and we get 45 hours of speedups for free, and then again we get the same thing for 400 gems this time, and right off the bat we get our first 8 spot, so we started off way better on day 2 than we did yesterday by far. Okay, so we spin again and we get wood, and then a sculpture, good, and then speed ups, and then another sculpture. Okay, so we're good on this spin as well. Okay, so we get a sculpture, and then we get another. Okay, perfect. I'm glad I hoarded gems for this. I wish yesterday's spins were this good. I saw a sculpture somewhere there, and then another. So this spin is good as well, perfect. Another sculpture, right there. I think that's two, and that's even better. That was three sculptures for that spin. I wonder how far I'll get him in terms of skills without using any universals. And for this spin, unfortunately, I don't get any sculptures, but that's okay. It's been great so far anyways. As for my last five rounds of spins, I saw a sculpture in there, and then we do one last one just to reach the 100 spin mark for 15 sculptures. And there we go, 25 sculptures from Extra Rewards, the only reason why we do these events in the first place, and now we move on to see how far I get in terms of skills. So it shows there that I have 51 sculptures, but it was actually 61 because it cost 10 to summon him, and there you go. I had one extra sculpture in order to max his first skill. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Later.